Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to um today we're going to decompile a model from Team Fortress 2. So to get started you want to go to the Valve Developer Community, find MDL decompiler, and you want to download the top one, Hooch's fixed version of yeah. Anyway, um once you download that, open it up, go to your bin. Um, now, you have to open up a computer, C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, your username, source SDK, bin, EP1, bin. Now, if you don't have source SDK, um, go install it right now. It's on Steam, and then go to the library. Hold on a sec, it's going to pop up here. And then right here where it says all games, click that, and it'll be in tools. So you want to make sure you have Source SDK installed. Nothing else matters, just Source SDK. Okay, and we'll just minus that. And uh, so get into this folder right here, and then drag the MDL decompiler fixed right in here. Now it'll pop up. And then we want to open this right here and drag this in right next to everything else so just move this over and grab this drag it in okay and we can close out of this and now we have to choose a model to decompile so we'll go into computer C program files steam steam apps and then you'll go down find Team Fortress 2 materials. Now right now they have all the models into the materials but normally they should have it in content. So if it's not in materials it's in content. Okay and then we want oh yeah you want to make sure you have GCF scape. It's so just Google GCF scape and download that. Okay and then once you have that we go TF models and if you want to use, if you want to decompile a weapon, you go weapons, C models, and then choose something like, uh, let's see here, how about the dart gun? So we'll select all this, have it selected, and then we'll go into a new window. Um, You want to do something along the lines of C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your username, Team Fortress 2, TF, Models, Weapons, and this I believe is then we go to C models, and then we can drag these in. But I'm gonna throw in a folder, throw them all in a folder in here. So we'll go new folder. We'll call this C Dart Gun. Okay, we'll double click it. We'll just drag all these files into here. You want to get the VT the two VTXs MDL PHY VTX and VVD. Okay, once that's in there, then we can uh, make a new folder. Let's call it decompiled. Okay, and we will go to our bin and double click MDL decompiler. All right, now we want to choose our model file. So this and we'll go into computer C program files steam steam apps yeah um your username team fortress 2 TF models weapons uh, C models 
and then uh, and then we'll grab our C uh, dart gun and double click just this MDL file. Okay, and then output directory we'll just want pretty much well we want it in that decompiled folder so we can go back to program files steam steam apps now this takes forever <laughs> it can get kind of annoying tf models weapons c models now if you don't have like c models i mean i should have covered this earlier but if you don't have any of these folders just create them so c models um, dart gun and then decompiled we'll just hit select okay we'll hit extract hit ok alright now it's in our decompiled folder now we can close out of everything except for our 3d package minuses Alright, now go to your 3D package, Maya, Blender, whatever works for you. And then um, you want to make sure you have a SMD importer. Um, if you don't know what that is, just Google it and it'll probably pop up on the first link or something. And uh, so we'll go File, Import, um, and then we want to navigate to the directory, the weapons, the C models, dart gun, and decompiled, and we want to import the C dart gun reference. So um, if you choose, if you chose another model, it should just be called C something reference dot DMX dot SMB. Okay, and then we'll double click it, hit OK, hit OK. Alright, so now we've got the model in uh, 3ds Max, and we can just, when we make our models and stuff, we just want to match up like the trigger and stuff. All you have to do is just, you know, set this right next to it and make sure things are matched up. So anyway, um, hopefully this helped you guys, and you know, if you if you have any questions, just ask, you know, in the comments below. Anyway, thanks.